Britain has always enjoyed a barbecue, but the glowing embers of this love affair have recently been rekindled by the rise of dude food. That is, our new man v food fondness for burgers, dogs and huge, a style hunks of grilled meats. According to analysts Kantar World Panel, there were 115.3 meters British BBQs last year, up more than 8%, with burgers overtaking sausages as our favorite barbecue food. In this smoky world, pork ribs are a strange proposition. Instead of grilling, they are, in a typical U.S. cookout, prepared slow and low in barbecue pits warmed by an indirect heat source. This explains why, while several supermarkets advise that their own brand versions normally pre-cooked for reheating spend a brief spell on a barbecue to pick up some charcoal flavor, they are generally designed to be oven-cooked. In a country with such unreliable summers, this could be seen as a plus. With a curb nod to authenticity, most supermarket ribs, larger spare ribs are racks of smaller loin baby back ribs, now come in a dry rub with a packet of glazing sauce to add later. If you're prepared to make your own marinades, however, Packington's raw, belly cut ranch ribs 810, 400 grams, 5 pounds and 19 pence a cardo were, while not an own brand, the best ribs tested here. Thick with fat, which rendered away beautifully, they delivered an impressively tender and moist, porky mouthful. Did any of the pre-prepared own brands get close to that standard Tesco slow-cooked New York-style rib rack 460 grams, 3 pounds and 75 pence suspicious that the glazes would be the weakest element in this test, I tasted where possible the rubbed meat and glazed ribs separately. Sauce-free, these moist baby back ribs offered reasonable flavor. Someone has been busy with the garlic, ginger and hot paprika. The tomato-dominated sauce is too sweet, but it has a persuasive peppery edge. If New York means creating ribs reminiscent of a plate of Italian meatballs, Tesco fulfills its remit. 610 Aldi Applebee's Smoky Barbecue Ribs, 600 grams, 2 pounds and 99 pence oddly described as having been marinated in a barbecue flavor glaze. The ingredients are clearly those of a rub, but packaged with an additional sauce. Luckily, the end flavors are less confusing. Pre-sauce, the ribs give up the kind of cayenne, paprika and smoke flavoring taste you expect in an upmarket bag of crisps. While no classic, the sauce, its burnt sugar sweetness offset by a palpable smokiness and peppery, clover tinged heat, is mellow and reasonably balanced. 5.510 Morrison's Red Eye Barbecue Meaty Pork Ribs 700 grams, 4 pounds Can you taste that distinctive smoky, coffee note in the honey sauce? That's the red eye bit. Although, inauthentically, no caffeine is used instead, that flavor appears to be created with malted barley and smoke flavoring. Before adding that sauce, a clanging, infantilizing layer of sweetness, these chunky ribs were promising. The rub is fruity and punchy, the pork falls off the bone. Collectively, it is a winning combination of savory flavors. That sauce, though no. 610 Mega Siemens Pork Rib Rack with an Apple Barbecue Glaze 625 grams, 6 pounds first cooked, sous-vide for several hours The vac-packed, water-bathed technique popularized by Heston Blumenthal, the fat-laced meat on this glossy, lubricious rack is notably moist and tender. This is decent pork with no added water, unlike Asda's and Aldous versions, whose apple wood smoking and simple sugar, spice and smoked garlic rub has imparted good flavors. The sauce lends the pork a pleasant caramelized apple edge, but, gradually, the KN rather muffles all other flavors. 7.510 Sainsbury's British Barbecue Pork Ribs with a smoky barbecue glaze 676 grams, 5 pounds Sainsbury's and makes a big play about how this rib rack is slow cooked for more than two hours. But far from simply falling off the bones, the dull, tasteless meat the rubber imparts mere hints of tomato and garlic requires vigorous gnawing. Despite its gloopy, unappetizing texture, the glazing sauce, sweet, tarry, smoky, with a precise heat redolent of not just chili, but also ground black pepper, saves these mundane ribs. 510 Asda Spicy Chipotle Pork Rack of Ribs 600 grams, 3 pounds and 50 pence Again the dent, not particularly fatty, meat on this slow-cooked loin rack needs to be actively tugged off. Melting it ain't. The chipotle rub is unexciting, dominated as it is not by chipotle but the muffled scent of apparently dusty, tired paprika. Smoked paprika and tomato puree are, likewise, the big flavors in the sweet sauce, which, although chipotle chili extract gives it a throat-tickling kick, lacks the depth and complexity you might reasonably expect.
510 Waitrose Red Eye Pork Ribs 535 grams 5 pounds was something lost in translation mid-Atlantic like the Morrison's Ribs Waitrose's Red Eye version omits coffee but includes vodka and tomato paste which is closer in spirit to the Red Eye drink popularized in Tom Cruise's cocktail. Either way, these are so-so ribs. Beyond a cracked black and cayenne pepper bust, the rub hickory smoked has left little impression on the pleasantly gelatinous meat. The tomato, honey and molasses sauce is so sweet you cannot but worry about early and set diabetes. 510 Coops Smoky Barbecue Pork Ribs 460 grams 4 pounds What would a U.S. pit master make of these frozen, microwavable ribs? There is hardly any meat above and below the skinny rack's bones and barely a centimeter of broadly flavorless pork between the ribs. Moreover, the ribs come preglazed in a sticky sauce that, while you can taste molasses and onion and, belatedly, some chili, cayenne, tomato and smoke, is more of a low-level hum than a bold explosion of flavor. A meek mouthful. 310 Ocado Barbecue Pork Ribs 500 grams 4 pounds 4 huge Flintstone-style spare ribs, but size ISNT everything. You have to tear the surprisingly tough meat off the bone and, despite it containing great, flabby bits of fat, there is little piggy flavor to this added water pork. The ribs sit in their juices as they cook, creating an unappealing wet edge on each, and the rub erroneously described as a glazer's clunky sweet and tomatoy, heavy on the smoked paprika with a pointed heat. 410